okay so hello guys i've uh, been a little while i've been a bit busy but i just want to do a quick video for you guys for um, those that have been asking <clears throat> how possible it is to create a 3d simulation in moho studio so i want to use this video to explain that for you real quick and i hope i make it very short so uh, this is what i want to show you so if i hold this down uh -huh. okay uh -huh. i'm holding shift by the way and you can see i did the top and it has a bottom and though i did not do the back yet so you can see through just in case you want to you know go into the house and do some other stuff so i'll be showing you how i did this real quickly and how you can create it also and if you go into the, the the folder you will see i had created um, a switch layer for the doors so you can see the door when it's closed and you can see it open a little bit and you can see it uh, then wide open all right so real quick um, let me show you how this is done i could just explain here but um, i think let's do it ourselves so you could see it for those newbies out there so this would be your first layer you'll be needing like four layers if you are going to do plus the back i think that's five so front uh, left side right side um top and bottom then back so that's six layers isn't it so uh, we'll just duplicate <coughs> we'll create the first layer rather so we'll call it front all right so we'll take our square I'm going to try to make it very simple okay take our square and we'll try to centralize the origin by picking this origin here this is your origin tool so i try to centralize it here and i'll drag this to the middle all right so i'll pick a color for the house i'll go to my styles and i'll pick um <coughs> let's pick this <clears throat> what color should it be now green red yellow brown let's pick this brown yes so i'll create shape i guess by now we all know how to do all that and um so from here we'll create a window real quickly so i'll create a small window here and i'll make it light blue very light blue all right create shape real quickly and um, you can make the window extend a bit if you want this same method you can use it for creating high-rise building and also small buildings like what I'm trying to show you I just want to give you the basic idea so that you can use at any time so I'll go ahead and create um, the window right here so I'll turn off, I'll reduce the curvature because I don't want that. So I want this part to be brown. I'll create shape. So let's do that. So this is what we have. I'll just reduce this a bit like this. And this one like this. Alright, so I'll copy. Let me do this part also. Good. So Ctrl C, Ctrl V, hold Shift, drag to this other side. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I'll go to my. I'll rotate it this way. Hold Shift, rotate. <coughs> drag to the top, and I'll scale it down. To this point and I'll scale it down to this point also in control C control V hold shift and drag it to the bottom okay so our windows then I'll have to separate it here all right just to make it uh, look real good okay so for the next one is the door so what I will just do here is I'll just copy this control C control V and I'll drag this one here and I'll scale it up all right scale it to the bottom so 
just to, just to make it very quick for us, okay? <clears throat> so you can also take your time to adjust this properly as you want, but for the sake of this tutorial, I want it to be really, really fast. So I don't want to waste so much time. So I'll change the color here and change it to black. <clears throat> Or whichever color you want so if we render this out so it looks like we have a window we have a door isn't it so what I will do right now is if we have a if you want to create a let's say a small loop or whatever but for now let, let me just show you so what you do is you cop you duplicate the layer the first one then you pull down on right side Alright, then Then you duplicate the right side. Then you call it left side. Left side. Then you duplicate the layer again. You call it top. And you duplicate the layer, you call it bottom. All right, so the top and bottom don't need windows, so we'll just highlight this here. <coughs> Hit delete for the top and bottom. I highlight the windows and the window and door. So we delete. And for the left side, we don't need the door there, so I delete that, then add. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, I drag this window here. All right, then I'll do the same thing for the right side. I like that. Delete. <coughs> I like the window. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, hold Shift and drag to the side. So you can take your time to adjust that as you want. Then this is the front. So we will now go to the right side. And we'll go to our layer transform tool here. We'll click it and we'll drag, hold shift and drag this to the right. Alright. Make sure it's touching the line exactly. So I'll now click this also and drag it to the left side. All right, so I'll go to the right side also and make sure I can zoom in to make sure that our line is perfect there. Same thing for the left side, okay? So we have a perfect line. Then, if you notice, the origin is at the center here, but that's not where we want it for the left and right side. So I'll pick my origin tool for the left side. I'll come down here to this point and I'll make sure that the origin tool is at this junction here in the middle like this. So I'll do the same thing for the right side. I'll make sure the origin tool, the origin point rather, is at this point. Okay. So I'll do the same thing for the top, the bottom. I will go to my transform tool, I'll drag it to the bottom here. So I'll zoom in to adjust that perfectly well. Then I'll pick my transform, I mean my origin tool rather, and I'll bring it to the middle here like this. Okay, good. Then the top also the same thing. I'll pick my transform tool. I'll drag it to the top. All right. And zoom in there. Holding sh down shift to do this so that it will as a, to move perfectly. Then I'll put my transform tool there, my origin tool rather, excuse me, I keep saying transform. <laughs> so now you have your house complete. Now the next thing for you to do right now is, is to bend everything to make your house complete, isn't it? So since we have all this set and the origin point is placed exactly where we want it, all we need to do is come here, our rotate X and Y, Z, Two, we'll click it then for the top yeah for the top we'll go to our Y rotation and hit 90 oh, no 
uh, x rotation and hit 90 yeah minus 90 minus. so it has bent to the back for the top then for the bottom it will be 90 yes it has bent you can see that right then for the left and right we'll go there right now then we'll go to our y rotation yes then i think what this left side should be 90 good and the right side will be minus 90. good so if you notice we have everything all set but we are not done yet all right you could see how the files are appearing um, within themselves as they have bent true isn't it so we'll have to arrange them accordingly right so the front should be on top like this then the bottom will probably be the last then the top here should be on top of the front right then um we have the left we have the right then we have the bottom so what we'll do right now is We'll put all of them in the same folder. Click the first um, file, hold shift, and group with selection. All right, so we'll call this um, 3D house. All right, so when we rotate, the one will come to this um, rotate X and Y tool. And we hold shift and try to rotate it. You can see we already have our 3D house rotating, but you could see, um, like the top, you could see through the everything is they are interlacing, sort of right, but that's not what you want for your perfect box, isn't it? So you double click on that hole that you have there and you go to depth sort and click animate layer order. You know, sort depth, sort layer by depth. You click sort layer by depth, then you apply, then you hit OK. You see, when I hit apply, that top layer that will see through disappeared. So if I rotate this now, it now feels like a solid object, right? So I'm rotating, holding down shift so that it can move perfectly, all right? And <clears throat> one thing I want you to take note is that. Wherever your origin is, this arrow you see here, this cross arrow you see here, that's where um, the X and Y rotate to rotate your vector from. All right, so I'm rotating from the center of everything. So if I change where this origin is, let's say, let me say I put it here for the whole house. So, and I click rotate, you see it rotates from that angle, right? If, I, if you notice, you can see it rotates from that angle I have there. So go ahead and use this same method to create high-rise buildings and what have you, depending on the ideas you have in mind. I just want to give you a broad idea on how to really create this, all right? So when you've created something like this, you can go ahead and just create um, a full scene um, using this concept and uh, an idea. So you could just rotate it to the side a bit like this. All right then use your camera to zoom in or zoom out so make sure your your house is standing perfectly well and um so that is how you use um moho studio to create a 3d object and it's very simple as you can see there's no specific way of um doing this you can also come up with your own method to create this i would like to see that if you have and also just know that when it comes to creativity you can always you know come up with your own ideas and do something specific that is unique and and awesome just remember to use the tools properly that's all so remember to like share and comment if you have any idea or questions or you want me to make a video on something specific please let me know in the comments below and tell me if you have used this method before tell me in the comments below 
so that I will know and let me know how you did yours and yes you could share with me a link of yours also on any video you have worked on recently let me know and I'll also comment on that also and I will also follow you uh, to support you in your own work as you have been supporting me so like share and subscribe and turn on your notification bell see you in the next video ciao